What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Photoshop to enhance or add makeup to an image like this. So let's get started. First things first, what you're going to need to do is go down here and create a new layer because this is what we're going to be working on. We're not going to be working directly on the image, we're going to be working on the layer. Then what you're going to need to do is zoom in onto the image and if there's already makeup on um, your subjects, so say for example here of this model they have eyeshadow you could use the color picker tool and select it so you can get an idea of the the kind of shade it is um, or you can go lighter and not just pick a color from the color picker tool and then what you're going to need to do is select the new layer that you created go to the brush tool make sure it's a soft brush make sure the hardness is at zero opacity at 100 and the flow is at about nine percent then what you're going to need to do is start drawing the makeup around your image. So me, I'm going to add to our eyeshadow. I'm just going to draw around it softly and slowly. I'm going to do a little bit at the bottom as well. And I'm going to do the other eye now. Now just keep adding and adding on to it to personal preference and personal taste. I think so far this looks good. I'm going to zoom out. So far it looks kind of crazy. <laughs> we'll preview it so what we're going to need to do is go to here we're going to find a blending mode and we're going to change the blending mode so we're going to hit this option and we're going to change it to what seems to look the best and i know for a fact soft light is going to look good so we could do soft light or we could even do darken but i'm going to do soft light so soft light looks all right and you can see it's already started to enhance the makeup now if we wanted to we can go in even more and continue to add tones and shades to the eyeshadow just to make it perfect make it even more sensational and again we can look at the before and the after and it's looking good then what we're going to need to do is we're going to change the color to white and we're going to start to use like highlight we're going to highlight the areas which um have general highlights in the face so like the nose here I'm going to put a white line here. I'm going to do underneath her eye for like a concealer. Maybe a little bit on her cheek for like a highlighter and zoom out. It looks good. Of course, <laughs> the more you play with it, you can make it look even more sensational. You can make it look more accurate. Right now, this is just super quick just to show you what you can do. Um, and I'm going a bit over the top just so you can see um, for the effect. But of course, you'd make it more subtle. If you want to dial in the opacity a little bit, you can reduce the opacity to make it not as strong. You can make it a lot more subtle. So it's super cool. You don't even have to do one color. You can change it up. You can switch it up. You can do multiple colors to so say, for example, I don't know, I want to make it green. Let's make our eyeshadow dark green. Again, we're going to zoom in. Use a brush tool, we're gonna to paint around the eye. It's gonna look like poison ivy. <laughs> so I'm just painting around her eye. Okay, it looks all right. It's just super quick. So I can show you guys, of course, you need to take your time to make it look perfect. I'm gonna zoom out, and then I'm gonna change the blending options, the blending mode to soft light. And as you can see, it's starting to change the color. It actually looks pretty convincing. I actually prefer this kind of shade to the last one we did. So I'll continue to paint over it to make it look perfect. I could even go underneath the eye. That might work too, maybe, who knows. So it's actually pretty fascinating what you can do um, with just a brush tool and some blending options. So yeah, look, that looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> kind of looks like Green Arrow. But yeah, I think it's I think it, I think it's pretty cool. And again, you can change the color, you know, add some highlight underneath our eyes, concealer, all of that sort of stuff, contour, all of that niceness, all of that goodies. <laughs> Just make it look sensational to your personal taste. Then afterwards, what we could do is we could actually merge the layers together. We can flatten everything. And then we can use -na -na, one of my free presets to just set it off. 
yeah i think that's cool i think that's kind of cool and we're bam and we've gone from that to that and it's not too bad so i would say so yeah guys if you like this video share subscribe comment like if you want to see me make more tutorials like this and let me know in the comments below make sure you subscribe and hit the notification the bell to see whenever i make a new video peace